everybody. This is the final of the Lima Open. Looking forward to have a fantastic game. Thank you to everyone who has donated while watching this event. This is a charity event uh, put on by the uh, by Gabo and his team, the General Kenubi squad. Uh, super excited. Gabo, thank you for putting on this event here. Uh, this event supports the La Casa de Todos uh, charity tra tra that translates to the house of all or the house for all and uh, it is a charity that is supporting and building temporary and permanent housing for the homeless population in peru so absolutely fantastic work if you're watching live right now exclamation point donate we, we have a bunch of prizes available if we can hit these different goals um all the way up to 2750 and we we, we are continuing to uh to build on on, uh, on our donation. Thank you to everybody who's done it. Uh, we said that if everybody donated one dollar, we would be able to 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 finish uh, all of the the stream prizes that we have available today. Uh, exclamation point donate. If you're watching later on, if you're watching later on, uh, if you're watching later on, one second. Looks like they are. Uh, all right, there we go. <laughs> if you're watching this, actually, I should probably just do the intro one more time because of the, the YouTube video will cut off. Here we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. You're watching the finals of the Lima Open. The Lima Open is an event to support La Casa de, de Todo, the House for All, uh, a charity event, uh, sorry, excuse me, a charity supporting the homeless ho population of Peru by building semi-permanent and permanent housing for them, uh, doing absolutely amazing work. So if you type exclamation point donate in the chat, you can uh, be a part of the people giving those donations. And if you're watching later on on YouTube, make sure that uh, that you click the link in the description below because that donation link will be staying active um, through uh, after this event so that we can continue passing on that money to the uh, to the charity there. Go ahead. Take a look at that article if you haven't yet. And uh, just absolutely amazing work. Thank you to everybody who's done it. Our co-host uh, today and all this weekend has been Pedro Segara. How's it going, Pedro? How are you doing? A little hungry to be to recreate because I'm skipping also lunch, but really happy, really excited for this final uh, between Arturo, local Peru player against Marcelo Duarte, who is Brazilian. If you remember last year, we, we had a Brazilian player. It was Enrique Barbosa Heman who won the South American Open. So maybe we can win this one the peruvians can win or maybe brazil <laughs> can win a second the second time well it sounds like the uh it sounds like this uh you know the, the main south american championship is going to stay in south america again so and that's even you know you opened it up to the world and we had people try to come and get it but not quite not gonna happen not this time. Now, also in the chat with us, you're going to probably hear some other voices as we uh, we continue here. We have uh, Gabo, the uh, the tournament organizer. Say hi. Hello, hello to everyone, and thank you for all the help that you are bringing to the cause we are pursuing this weekend. And of course, we also have our judge, our marshal, who's been with us uh, throughout the G Galactic Championship Series as well, uh, D. Yoon. Hello. The one and the only. How are you doing, beautiful? Hanging in there. Hang, hanging in there. <laughs> that, you know what? You, At yeah. least you're hanging in there. That that is that is a win, friend. That is a win. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, if you haven't yet, you saw the Choose Your Champion pop up. I'll put it up one more time. Choose Your Champion. The time is now. The time is now. Uh, and I, I want to get opinions from everybody who who's live with us right now. Uh, Pedro, who do you think has the advantage in this matchup? I do want to note that Arturo did lose the roll off and was given the, uh, the initiative. He is the first player. Who do you think uh, is going to take this game? Who's your champion? Um, I would really like Artur to win, but I think the Aces is, are, are going to take this one. I think Mar Marcel is going to win. All right. Gabo, what do you think? Hmm. You have Imperial Heart, Gabo. Yeah, my heart is Imperial in first order, but uh, I trust 
uh, Arturo's experience, and I'm not, I'm not being biased here. Uh, I think Arturo faced so many times in paralysis that he has a way to avoid the trickering, the the, the overdodge, and 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 the ability of the of the imperial players. All right, all right. Uh, D, do you have an opinion in the matter? Do, do... I'm uh, I'm I'm gonna vote for uh, Imperials. I just love Phantoms, and uh, I'm I'm pulling for them. There you go. All right, now, a couple of things to note about the opening. We've seen Arturo play a couple of times now, and he's used a very similar opening. This is a little bit of a variation, though, this, mo this movement with, um, this movement with, um, with Wolf. With Wolf. Barrel rolling him back, uh, maybe to create uh, another line. He might be bringing him around and having a line of three and, and moving that way. But we'll find out. Pedro, let's go ahead and break down these lists. Okay, so Arturo is bringing our Republic list. Has uh, three arcs. Two of them are battalion pilots. One of them is Wolf. And he has the Anakin Skywalker, the very Anakin Skywalker, in the Eta with Predator and Shilabgrate. On the other side, Marcelo is bringing... Uh, like this new version of all the aces, it has Darth Vader with fire control system and afterburners, has Echo in the TIE Phantom with collision detector, which is super good for those decloaks, fifth brother gunner and targeting computer, and last but not least, the Grand Inquisitor. I, w I do want to say it is really cool to see a uh, one of these new wave ships a day after it was released to see it here on the table in the final, uh, the ETA-2 in Anakin. Now, thematically, a little bit strange. We have Anakin Skywalker and Darth Vader on the board right now. <laughs> Who will yeah. win, right? Uh, well, we don't know. Uh, and just to clear it up, because I know there's those of you who are watching live who have the question, but also I know people in the future uh, who watch this on YouTube will also ask the question, what's up with Anakin's uh, weird triangle shield weird thing that's going on? There's a mistake in the overlay system uh, that is giving – the wrong number of shields to Anakin. And because the way the half points work out, we got to use our janky shield here uh, while while he has that shield. He hasn't lost it yet. So he's had that kindergarten shield <laughs> next to Anakin. This is uh, the, the <laughs> two times he's played on stream. So uh, we'll see if, uh, if I even have the opportunity to delete it or not. But we did also get to see Marcelo on stream. Uh, Marcelo flew an absolutely amazing game earlier. Uh, just a, a clinic on how to fly Imperial Aces. In the last game, uh, with we have two, we've had two games in a row with Arturo. When facing against a dash list, there was a couple of moves that uh, I strongly disagreed with, but Arturo was able to pull it out. The last game was a, a lot of back and forth and was able to beat Andy Myers, and now we're here in the finals. Let's take a look at the positioning. Uh, a reminder also, finals. Official timer is, is going to be two hours, so we might be here for a while. Do you guys think we'll end up using the entire two hours? Where do you think we're going to end up? Oh, well, um, when you face these aces, I think you should try to, like, swarm them, not not allowing them to, to get in the positions that they want because these aces want to have these di different vectors, three vectors to, to attack, to, to have... Um, to be on your flank and stuff. And if you are really aggressive, like you try to take the, the middle of the area, of the game area, through those obstacles and don't allow them to get into a good position, you can, it can be a really good game for you. I think Arturo is like holding back um, his arcs, which is usually his style. But I think that is going to allow Marcelo to get in those really good positions for the ace. I think, uh, I would like. I know it's two hours game, but I would like. I would like to see Arturo getting more aggressive with, with his arcs. I, I understand why he's protecting Anakin, but mm -hmm. those arcs can be a little more aggressive than than the way he's playing them. So, so you're saying that you believe the, the longer clock favors Marcelo more than it favors Arturo. I mean, one one of the things there uh, is the fact that you do have only one agility on those ARC-170s, they're going to take 
damage more often than not compared to these Imperial Aces who can pretty often with the three agility force and, uh, and evade tokens when they, for those ships that can have them, uh, they can shrug off damage pretty easily. Two hits, they usually don't even blink at it. Um, but yeah, the, the staying power of the Imperial Aces is favored here uh, in the in the two-hour final. Would you guys agree with that? Yeah, indeed. Uh, I'm I'm looking right now uh, at a pattern uh, a pattern uh, of movement on Echo. Maybe he's uh, waiting for those red and yellow arcs to come a little uh, closer. So uh, he started the the dancing around him, uh, and also I think Vader is waiting for an opportunity to to land an attack with no many ships firing at him. Mm. Yeah, I mean, Vader is an absolute hammer, right? If you have yeah. Vader in a position where he can essentially just one forward, target lock, smash, one forward, target lock, smash, you could end up eating an ARC-170 very, very quickly. Oh, interesting here. Um, Arturo flipping the Ada 2, taking Anakin and going back to that right corner. We might have an Anakin versus Darth Vader showdown uh, here at the top of the board. Now, before we go too far, I do want to remind everybody that today's stream, all of our rounds this weekend, was brought to you by CurlPawCreatives.com. Uh, you can type exclamation point CPC in the chat if you want to uh, get the link directly to the website. But right now, their Black Friday sale is going on. It's going on until Monday, I believe. Uh, they're keeping it up through Cyber Monday. So if you want to get some gifts for somebody from a small business, uh, CurlPaw Creatives is the place to do it if you want to get some X-Wing stuff. Um, no coupon code needed. And you can also, one of the new items available is the official GSP LED light. Now, you can also get your own uh, squad in there if you have a, a logo that you'd like there, a faction symbol. Um, or even if it's not Star Wars related, get in contact with Andrew and uh, he can get it taken care of. But do it in this window for the Black Friday sale so that you can lock in that, uh, that Black Friday price discount. So uh, what were you going to say there, Gobble? Sorry about that. Gabo. Sorry, sorry. I was with, with the mic off. Uh, and my, my family is screaming, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, no. Uh, I was about to tell you... Uh, I forget, sorry. <laughs> I forget what I was about to say. You. Okay, I, I'm going to up the stakes a little bit here, because during this online season, there have been lots of tournaments, lots of events online. Um, mostly in South America um, online events, there have been a lot of Peruvian players versus Brazilian players on the finals with mixed results. We have yeah. um, some of them have been won by Peruvians, some of them have been won by Brazilians. So here in South America, we are pretty excited to see a, a, another Peru against Brazil on another X Wing final. Yeah, it's, it's, it's becoming a classic, I think. Yep. The last final we have seen was on Treino Maldoso. It was a, a team, X-Win team, like with the XTC format. It was won by the Brazilians, the Brazilian team, Green Belly Cartel. Uh, it was my squad who lost, the, the Los Angeles guys. Uh, so let's see if we can... So call, call, like... call them out, man. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> This no, is the, 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 the Green Belly guys play play really really well, um, but let's see if we can take Peru Peruvians can take some some gold before the year ends. <laughs> I like it. I, I like I, it. I remember what what I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm about to say is uh, I think uh, Arturo is going for a second try of of, of baiting here, uh, and and Marcelo is not not um, going for it because um, he's, uh, he's really um, focused on, on the way these arcs on, on the bottom of the screen are going to close. So Anakin is going to be dancing there, waiting for Vader to move. Yeah, this is a good job from Anakin keeping Vader out of, of the fight. 
Like, yeah. hey, you, you come here, and Vader's also not like not executing a fast maneuver because he can really um, commit like around around the gas cloud, and um, yeah, keeping keeping Vader away from both arcs. Oh, oh, uh, has this, hey, he has, has, has collision detector. Charges. But he's gonna have to spend oh. it. Yeah, like I, I like the move of staying behind the cloud there to get some coverage. But b ha being forced to use uh, a resource this early could end up hurting just a little bit. We'll find out. Did he get the strain token? Did he roll for it? No, uh, no, he's, oh, he's he spent the detector. Excuse me, the, that was, the collision detector. We literally just talked about that. Here's the Inquisitor turning in, evade and two force, really defensive. We talked about how versus a three dice attack, a three dice target lock focus attack, you're expected to do no damage. <laughs> Point three <laughs> was uh, was was the math wing there. If you want to check out the X wing calculator, by the way, exclamation point math wing one word will give you uh, give you the link to the calculator. Ooh. Okay, so, so Vader decided Vader. to commit, and it seems to work because there's the afterburners. Luck and focus. Yeah. All right. Well, that Anakin has the same the same uh, the same trick there. He has evade and a couple force. Like it is it is difficult. It is difficult to push damage through. Uh, there's a pretty good chance that Anakin just shrugs shrugs off that attack. And I think he's also going to barrel out of Anakin's firing arc. That is the correct choice. Why Point take shots? Safe. All right, here comes the pew pew. Mm -hmm. Yep, no attacks for Anakin. Here comes Vader, range two. Remember, has that target lock, so that's going to add that uh, that third dice. By the way, uh, all Galactic Championship participants, uh, for, I know there's a lot of you listening right now, you guys are going to be receiving an acrylic Darth Vader uh, as part of your participation prize. It was that bonus uh, bonus piece that I'm putting in there because of the, the shift that happened with the art. Um, here we go. Hit, hit, crit. And oof. Oh, not a great roll there. Not a great roll. Still taking, uh, going to be taking the shield, the magic shield. The Ooh. magic shield. Uh, had to spend the evade, had to spend the force token. Yep, you were um, looking for, for at least one evade result there, at least one squiggle. Does range two. Will he spend the force for Inquisitor's ability? Seems not. Seems good. Hit crit. It's going to be range two. Oh. And he's going to be taking at least one. Spending, uh, spending it. Yep. Now, Echo is ignoring the, the gas cloud for the round. So that means when Echo gets to attack, the attack won't be obstructed. Mm hmm. Exactly. Slippering April. Let's see. Fifth brother. Spending the force for the fifth brother. Now, remember he is ignoring the rock. That's why there's no uh, there's no um, obstruction. No obstruction there, and that is a, going to be a crit. <laughs> oh, and that was a direct hit. hit. Okay, so so maybe no no not two hours the final because one arc is going <laughs> down. Really quickly. Uh, Arc is going down really quickly, down to four hole, half points given up already. Let's see who do you choose here. I think you want to focus fire no matter what, because even though even though Echo is ignoring the um, the obstacles. Uh, the arcs are not, so you still they would still get the obstruction bonus and the effect there because oh. of how, how all that works. Uh, this is going to be rough. The first arc attacked, no hits, no mods there. Second shot, I mean, uh, yeah, you could go there. I, yep, I, it's oh, three dice. It's just, it's flipping one one issue for another, going through the cloud. Oh, coming up empty. Nah. 
Oh my god, that's that's a really huge round for for Marcelo. Half points on the arc. Also one shield, one shield from Anakin, not suffering any damage. Only spending one charge from both collision detector and afterburners. Wow. Alright, so I'm sure Arturo not feeling great after that opening engagement. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do here, uh, just because we do have a new card on the table, is talk a little bit about, and let me try to, to prep this for you guys. Uh, let's go here. Click this button. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the ETA 2's new, uh, or not new ability, but its ability here. So intuitive controls, all right? During the system phase, you may perform a purple barrel roll or a purple boost action, all right? So of course, it's purple, so it's requiring you to spend a force, and then uh, it's an action, so you can't be stressed while you're doing it. Uh, allows for a little bit of extra flexibility. We'll see if we actually get a look at it here, uh, but we'll find out. By the way, we're on the page right here, exclamation point social, all right? If you're not following us on Instagram or Twitter, what are you doing? Let's go. Come on. Back to the table. Okay, so we have also seen that Arturo um, is not like he likes, but he's not afraid of doing that purple uh, boost or barrel during the system phase. Like in our previous two matches, he has done that when it was needed. The problem here is that um, you don't know what Vader is going to do. Vader could easily try like a 4K, hoping that Anakin is going to move to the left, I mean, to, to the top of your, of your screen, but Anakin could also decide to go to the right. So that K turn from Vader is going to leave him in a weird position. Uh, and that also, depends on what Anakin is trying to do. Anakin could just, like, say, boost to the right, to, sorry, to the left, and then try to three bank away from Vader, uh, trying to start going towards uh, the arcs, who, like, you, you saw, they actually need a little help. All right. So going into... This next round, let's go ahead and uh, and we should be at dials now or system phase first. Yep, system because both players have system phase ability. One the, the equity cloak and the well the intuitive controls we have just mentioned. I think Echo is going to the cloak to to the left. I mean to the bottom corner. Uh, trying to get one on one flank of the arcs. I mean, the arcs could still go there. Trying to ah, but Echo has many options here. Could also try to declo to the to her right. I mean, towards the Inquisitor side, hoping also to to block because that's why uh, we've been talking to some players. Uh -huh. Let's say about the intuitive controls. Intuitive controls is re quite similar to a decloak. Yeah. Right? Because it happens during system phase. Other things aside, that is actually an action, the cloak is not an action, and stuff. But sometimes you can use that to block enemy ships. Right? In this case, if Echo decloaks to the right, there is a potential block, at least at least for red. But no, he 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 prefers the, the flank, the flanking option. Which is good, I mean, that's why you bring Echo. Echo ha can give you lots of options. That's right. And it looks uh, that like... is also the, the intuitive controls. And uh, just so you know, the other thing we have in the chat added new here is exclamation point system for system phase to remind everybody. I know this is a, a rule that gets confused a lot during the system phase. Uh, the sequence of play starts with uh, the ship with the lowest initiative and continues ascending. So Echo does go first and Anakin would then be able to respond. All right. Wolf hitting the cloud while making the turn in, so that means not going to have any modifications except for his reroll. He will have a strain token there. I mean, it, it seems fair. Oh, but Echo didn't bomb the, the gas cloud. Did not. Going to be able to get away clean there. Yep. 
already gained that flank, that right flank of the arcs. Uh, I'm not sure if the arcs are going to shoot. Okay, prop red. Red red has a shot on, on Echo, but but yellow doesn't. I'm pretty sure Echo is also far away from Wolf. I think you set up here a lock. You have a good chance of killing Red. Um, no, Red is down to four. No, I don't think. You just lock here. Or... Right, taking the barrel. Okay. Roll, saying, you know what? I, I don't... That is a defensive position right now. Uh, just taking up space. and also sets up, I think, a better decloaking option for next turn. Ooh, okay. Oh, here's Inquisitor Bamp him. That could be bad. Now, Inquisitor does have the ability to knock down that range one uh, bonus from the incoming yellow arc 170 using his ability, which we could talk about it here is, in a second. It's really frustrating for the opponent. Like, you, are, I finally have a one range shot. No, you Denied. don't. No, you don't. <laughs> yep. By the way, uh, shout out uh, in the chat to, I'm not sure if you're still here, Magnus uh, Alvinik. Burston, thank you so much for becoming a patron. Magnus, are you here? Let me know. Tag me. Anakin running away. Uh, probably a boost. Yep. Boosting toward the arcs. He needs to help the friends. Oh, it seems that Vader called him. Vader called it. I mean, he, he has the force, right? He can read minds. At the, end of this, uh, at the end of this uh, round, Gabo, I'd like an update on those donations so that we can uh, see where we're at. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Vader taking the barrel roll. Anakin being hunted he, down by his past. He totally... No, by, by his future. By his future yeah. self, sorry. Yep. Vader trying to erase his past. That's right. Trying, to, trying to erase to, his to past. Change. Ooh, that's oh. going to be two hits and a crit. Yeah, I've spent the focus. Anakin. Uh, oh, taking the crit. Has half points on Anakin. It's a direct, direct hit. hit. Down Ooh. to one hole. Oh my god. That shield. Uh, money. Money. Oh. Okay, now comes the Grand Inquisitor here. Range one. No need to add the, the extra die. Nope. Only one. Still going to be taking damage because I'm, I'm assuming he's going to hold on to that focus. Yep. Yeah, at, at some point Arturo is going to say, hey, I'm taking too much damage. I need to do the same amount of damage, saving my mods for, for offensive. One hit, one crit, one focus, <laughs> spending the fifth brother charge. Hit, crit, crit. Yep, but, but he's obstructed and... Oh, take it to crit. Only one. It is a crit against the red ARC 170, and that is a damaged engine. Damage. Okay, those those thorns are now um, from white to red now. Oh, red dice just, just hate Arturo in this game. So not a great, not a great roll there. Yeah. For yeah, Wolf. not even worth a re-roll, perhaps. It's not. Uh, let's see if Jello has a better, better luck. All right, range one. We'll see if. Uh, yep, there is the trigger for the force ability. He dings it a few times. Only uh, one hit for spends two. the focus for two. Oh, and got safe. it. He could have even taken three. He would have been fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, and that is all the shots. Gobble's gonna get us a, an update here any minute now. Yep, uh, but now is uh, Marcelo is not only winning the damage race, but also the position game here. Mm -hmm. Vader is after Anakin. Uh, Echo is already on the right flank of both arcs. Probably the only guy in trouble is the Grand Inquisitor, but he's okay. He, he's okay being at range one. 
even he, if he dies, it's only 51 points. Is that the ship with with the last the least cost on Marcelo's on Marcelo's squad? And oh, he he's really close to losing the ships, and one of mm-hmm. them is Anakin. I mean, the the ship Ace. I mean, if some ship can probably try to hand out hand down the Grand Inquisitor, and Echo is Anakin, and Anakin uh-huh. is really close to to die. Yeah, the uh, the update right. is. All right, we got our update here. Two thousand and three hundred and twenty-three dollars with eighty cents. He said two thousand three hundred twenty-three point eight. You said you said three three two three. No, two three two three point eight. All right, sorry, two three two three. All right, 2,323. All right, real quickly here while they're in planning, we'll we'll cut to the uh, uh, we'll cut to the stretch goals. All right, so right here, these are the stretch goals. So we hit the 2,300. We're doing the templates, but if we don't get to 500 or 750, we're not going to get the rest of the stuff. All right, all right, back to the table. Run. <laughs> Let's go. Exclamation point, donate. Now, for everybody who is joining here, I do want to remind everybody that we do stream live every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday here on Gold Squadron. Of course, if we're doing an event, then we're here on the weekends and we shift our Saturdays around. But uh, if you want to join us, hit that follow button. Make sure you guys are watching live on Twitch. If you're watching this later in the future, uh, or maybe you haven't, Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can catch up on any games that you're missing. Tons of X-Wing content. Uh, I posted a bunch of stuff with the updates and the points. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit about one of the upcoming videos that we're working on that I think you guys are going to find real entertaining. All right, Echo, decloaking to the left. Oh, there is one comment from, I think one of, from the Lima Open Judges, Rodrigo Marshall. Rodrigo Marshall says, Obi-Wan was right. Vader did kill Anakin. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the uh, intuitive controls. Okay, so so it changed. It's not Anakin going to help the arcs. Is the arcs going to help Anakin here? Oh, a strained arc. Oh, that's a K turn. Trying to set up like a little little box. And a focus for Wolf. One bank from Echo. Really good job at keeping Echo out of enemy's firing arc. Mm-hmm. Echo... We've seen this on not only these games, or also in, in a previous game. Yeah, I mean the maneuverability on the ship just makes it so good at being able to get out. Now, uh, oh, a bump Inqu- here. Inquisitor bumping again. Now, here's the thing. Uh, Inquisitor, even with the one force, is pretty good at shaking off damage. Uh, but with the ability, like we talked about, reducing the number of attack dice coming in. And even so, that yellow arc 170 doesn't have a great shot. You're leaning on Natty. So you got to gotta lean into variance there and, and hope that you, uh, y- you get something good. Yep, you're also suffering a second shot from red, but it's obstructed, and from an arc sweet arc, so it's only be two dice. Also, with no mods, he's doing a great, a great, um, well, not 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 just a great job because the Inquisitor is bumping, but like we said, it if one ship can bump and, and stay there, it's okay. The Inquisitor is a big guy. Oh! Oh, oh. I was worried about this. Vader Vader loves the one straight. Loves the one straight. Anakin trying to block there and is going to likely get annihilated oh. here by Vader who's bear rolling out of the way. Not even giving him an opportunity to get that simultaneous <laughs> fire. Get, oh. pre- prepare the Fs in the chat because uh, 
I, we've seen this it's movie his future. already. It's his future. He knows exactly what what his past is, is going to do because he's his future. He's reading every Anakin movement. That's right. He's like, I, I've done this already. Okay. No yeah. crits. No oh, crits. I'll break the lock. He's going to break, have to lock. break you, it. You yeah. you kill Anakin. It doesn't matter if this is like one crit or not. There's a reroll. And that's going to be three hits after spending oh. the focus. And it's no Looking blanks to survive. And that's oh. it. Anakin taken off the table. Um, yep. Marcelo set up fantastic setting Vader. This is this is um, situational awareness. He knew that Arturo had the first player. Arturo set Anakin uh, away from the rest of the team. Marcelo put Darth Vader right across from him. And and did what Darth Vader does, and uh, and and used the hammer to uh, to destroy him. Zero to eighty-seven. That is a huge blow. And I, I know yeah, I, I know that it's it, it, this might sound overly negative. And if you're a newer player, I want you to make sure that you really listen to what I'm saying uh, in this engagement. Let's 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 finish up up here. One hit, two focuses. That that Seco spending the the for fifth brother. Uh, no, no, he's spending the focus also too. Mm -hmm. One hit, one crit. The red uh, arc one seventy takes hit crit, and it is a what was that card? Uh, if if he was shooting at red, it should have been obstructed, I think, because of the chat. I, I think he was shooting. Uh, oh, because red was a strain. Okay. Yeah. Only one one defense die there. Uh, you said the deal, no mods from the arcs. Mm -hmm. That's it's not a threat. Here is the red arc going at Darth Vader. Able to get one. That's the expected average. <laughs> uh, and Vader safe. is safe. So what I was going to mention here is this might sound overly negative, but with losing Anakin, Arturo's loss likely lost the game. Because what's happening here is you have now three aces, uh, and you, if you're not familiar with the term aces, this is usually what people talk about. Uh, people are talking about ships that have really good maneuverability and or are a high initiative. It can kind of get muddled a little bit in there. But Echo, if she's in a high initiative, is considered an ace because you got the decloak plus barrel rolls. Um, the Inquisitor, same thing. Initiative five, you got access to boost or barrel roll. Vader, barrel roll, uh, and initiative six. Um, and you're flying against uh, excuse me, one agility ships. The Red Arc 170 is almost guaranteed to die next turn. It's going to get shot by either Echo or Vader. And, and be gone, yeah. and you're just you're just whittling away. And with the tools that these Imperial Aces have, they are rolling at least, at minimum, two hits every turn. And more more likely than not, it's usually three. Yeah, also, also Red One has like a loose stabilizer, so he's going to have a really hard time trying to block Vader, perhaps. Um, the problem also mm -hmm. here is not does is not just three one agility ships against three aces. It's three. And damage aces. They haven't suffered a single. They haven't lost a single shield yet. Mm -hmm. I. I don't know how Arturo can pull this in his favor. I mean, he. It is a a tough moment for Arturo. I, I think the call with Anakin uh, in the last turn was not not to boost. I think uh, Anakin barrel. stayed in that in that corner for for too long. Like it was good yeah. when he wa wanted to buy, to, to bait. Sorry, mm -hmm. but at some point, Marcellus Vader said, "Okay, I had enough." Four straight afterburners, and that was the beginning of of Anakin's end. Yeah, yeah. And also, I I have to mention in one comment from the chat that he says is the first time I see Arturo flying Anakin um, separate from the rest of the arc. So uh, this is a this is a, a situation that that Marcelo take advantage on because Vader made his hand move mm -hmm. pretty pretty fast pretty fast. And now then I was the one forward that he likes. 
and 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 uh, and the at the end he he gained the the points of panicking. Yeah, I think he he wanted to do what he was doing, like trying to to bait Vader with Anakin and keeping him out of the fight. But the problem was how. The, oh my God! Hit crit, Poor arc. crit. That's triple crits there. Arc red arc is is gone. Yeah, super gone. Oh, triple crit going through. The the baiting the baiting was good uh, when you have the hammer on the right. But yeah. Marcelo says, "Okay, Anakin is 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 alone, so I I can go for it." I, I'm not sure if, if it would have changed anything, but um, if he, I, I think that maybe he was more aggressive with the arcs, then probably the bait would have worked because that you keep Vader away from that um, from that area where the arcs are, but the arcs are flying towards. I mean, they flew towards the Grand Inquisitor and Echo, but I think they had to flew faster, not not allowing him to get into a, the position that he actually wanted. Um, I, I think Anakin spent also too much time trying to bait Vader. Mm. One hit, one focus. Uh, now, uh, that's in Wolf. And, oh, all right. He actually he pushed the damage through there. That's a, a shield onto the Grand Inquisitor. He did not take an evade there. No, he decided to lock on yellow. It cost him a shield. Back arc shot here from the yellow arc 170 going into echo. One hit. Oh, he was stressed. No, no action. Only one hit. Looking for paint here. Or, and oh no, he's going to be he's taking gonna another shield out there unless he spends the, the force, I mean, um, the evade. But I think he'll just take the shield because you want to be able to decloak there. Also, quick shout out before I forget because I just saw it come in right now. Thank you to uh, Thomas Bo. I'm going to butcher your name, my friend. Boghassian. Thomas Boghassian, are you in the chat, fam? Thank you so much for becoming a patron. Really appreciate you. Thomas, are you here? Thomas. All righty. So, um, <laughs> this this is a really interesting turn of events in the sense that, you know, Marcelo brought a, a proven archetype that has, has changed and evolved, uh, but has managed to, to do it and use the tools available to him to uh, to really just dissect the the pilots that he's played against, and I know we talked about you know not seeing Anakin be be away from the Arc 170s. He did do that in the in the game versus Dash. So that means I would guess that he has two different type of openings or two similar ones. Okay, uh, one where he's away and one where he's close. I do agree that he should have stayed close because one thing that these Imperial Aces do fall to. Is focus fire, and if he could have taken all three of the arc 170s and point them in, like, to have some overlapping arcs and be able to catch some of these uh, imperial aces in nets, that's how you start whittling them down. You got to burn through the defensive tokens in order to get into the juicy center of that tootsie pop. All right, and then you take the crunch and get it off the table and move on from there. But uh, yeah, that's not not what happened. Obviously the. Uh, the, the flanking position or the bait did not work. That is going to be using the collision detector to be able to decloak there. I mean, I mean, he he can decloak there if he wants to uh, ignore the effect of the obstacles. He's required to spend the charge. But if he doesn't spend the charge, he can decloak or barrel roll or boost through a gas cloud. But um, he will suffer the effects. I remember. It, I think it was. Uh, yesterday's first match, when we saw the the ETA, um, we mentioned like is, if you are flying like really fragile aces, you probably need the bit, and that was a 188 squad, so that's a lot of bit. I think most of Anakin's fate were also decided, but that when Arturo and and Marcelo rolled that um, that attack die, 
that mm-hmm. initiative die to decide who would be first player. Because if it had been the other way around, Vader wouldn't have probably been able to to shot at Anakin. Anakin would have been moving after Vader, uh, boost or barrel out of Vader's firing arc. Yep. It it really it really affected the game. Oh yeah. Okay, I think Wolfie have a, a shot with no damage in return from Echo because Echo is his uh, arc Echo. is not pointed to 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 Wolfie, so. I think it went a little bit aggressive here with Echo. I think you should you should, you should cloak. He's barely oh. rolling onto the cloud for protection. I mean, I think at this point Marcelo is starting to taste taste victory. You don't you don't want to get too overconfident because these are still three dice guns for at range one. Um, but uh, he could he could play a little bit looser if he wants to for for the funsies here. Okay, so he spent the last collision detector charge. Which is a nice play. I, I haven't thought of that. So it's Barbara all over the the gas cloud, probably getting out now an obstructed shot from from Wolf. And here comes Vader. I mean he could have spent the that last afterburner charge if he wanted to get a little more more greedy. And that's uh, also a barrel roll. Yep. Vader's He's trying to get into a better position. I like the spot. Can he reach for the target lock? Is he going to do it? Oh, he's already got one set up. I see it right there. So a really quick update. We are on 2,300 and... 89 with 12 cents. All right. 2,389. Oh. Hit, hit, crit. Looking at Wolf right now. Range three shot. Got the natty. Still taking one, though. Only one shield. Now comes Wolf. Um, Echo's obstructed, has an evade, has the force. You could probably go after Vader, perhaps. Yep, choosing Vader. Oh, hard. Oh, he has the focus. Yep. He's yep. okay. And uh, Echo didn't get to shoot. Oh, there it yep, is. Yep, Echo goes they first. They got it. They got it. Just getting excited there. Yep, let's see. Oh, and... go to Spain here. The... Nope, he's going he's gonna to just do the hit nope. crit. Staying defensive. He knows he's got another shot coming in. He's he's decided to be a little bit more conservative now. As obstructed, so three dies and and oh. it, it was it was obstructed by the cloud, right? So he will be fine because of the cloud. I mean, uh, it was obstructed by the second cloud, not the one that Echo like Echo landed, but the other one. No, Chad says uh, range three. No, but when Echo shot, it was obstructed. P- probably because of some weird angles from the. Oh no! Yeah, it's from says, the firing it, arcs. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Oh, but also, yep. sorry, he sh- uh, Echo used collision detector, so she was, she was ignoring the attack. That's why it didn't do anything. Sorry, that's just my yep. I I said that wrong. It's collision detector. Um. Yep, uh, so people in the chat are asking uh, what happened if Echo landed on the gas cloud because of um, of the decloak. That, does that mean skipping the perform action step? And the answer is no. You only skip the, ans- the perform action step if you move through or overlap a gas cloud executing your maneuver, not if you uh, decloak or barrel roll 
Um, in this case, because you can barrel roll and the cloak through a gas cloud, but that doesn't make you skip the the perform action step. Mm -hmm. All right, got that all cleaned up. 71 minutes and change left in the round here. Let's go ahead and remind you guys, exclamation point, donate in the chat. Let's see if we can get at least to 2,500. We had goals going all the way up to uh, 200, two, excuse me, uh, 2,750. Uh, I think the next prize to be added is 2,550 which we are uh, you know we're, we're less than uh, less than 200 away from that so thank you to everybody who has donated and to everybody who is on the edge go ahead just do it just do it. it's for a good cause exclamation point donate read read the article if you if you haven't heard about what the the, the charity is for and uh, and thank you to everybody who has you guys are awesome i i wa uh, i'm also one two to say thank you to Cairo Studio, our friend Fernando Querubus designed the, the, the Lima open mat, the, the, the dice trays, and, and he has done an amazing job in making with his own hands the, the army case that the winner of the Lima open is gonna uh, take home. Oh, very good. All right. So Echo decloaking there. We'll have to roll here because of the um... no charge on collision detector. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he's he's fine. Roll a blank. I mean, even it, it... even without charge. Uh, a phantom with collision detector is really annoying. Uh, how how many points is collision detector? Six, Six. I think. Well also pretty pretty expensive, but yeah. I mean, it, it, you are going to be decloaking all the rounds if nothing goes goes wrong. So mm -hmm. you have lots of options. I mean, like I said, even a, a echo with without collision detector is really tricky to catch. Imagine we are seeing that with accolade detector is even harder. Yes, you, normally you are used to to see echo moving around, and this echo is in the middle of the cloud field, uh, playing with you, playing my game, my game. <laughs> I'm here. Yep. No, I'm not here, and I'm here. It's a ninja echo. Also, also really good, uh, both Inquisitors um, and Echo playing the ace game, getting out of most of the enemy's firing arcs. I mean, Echo is in in Wolf's firing arc, but it's okay, it's from the rear, hasn't have any mods. Could be a four dice attack, though, because he can recover the charge there. Uh, Vader only one straight. With a focus, I think it's range one or uh, range two. Mm -hmm. Going into Wolf here. Wolf has already lost a shield. One hit, two focuses. Uh, uh, do you want to spend the focus or not? Because you'll have two shot coming shots. All I right. think you will break the lock. No. No, he's going to spend it. Yep. Uh, all going through. Hit, crit, crit. Sorry, hit, hit, crit. Oh, weapons fail. Or... That, no. That is a rough one. Yep. Especially since I, I think Arturo was hoping for do that four dice from the rear attack recovering. Wolf's charge is now going to be down to only, one, only three dice attack. Here we go. Next attack coming in here. Two hits. Uh, has a lock. It's a lock from like three rounds ago. That's right. The Grand Inquisitor oh. able to convert it to a crit. Two hits and a crit. And blanks out there. 
Another yep. hit, hit, crit going through shields and uh, and a crit there. It is a wounded, wounded. pilot. Oh. Now comes the Republic attack, but oh, who do you shoot here? I mean, is Bader two dies or Echo with three? I mean, an Echo is cloaked. So I think you probably go after just Bader with two dice, hoping that maybe you can make him spend the force and then yellow hits at him. Yeah, he's going after Bader. One hit, one focus. Uh, no. Got the squid. He's going to get the force. Yep. And oh. Uh, two hits <sighs> and not gonna. Oh. Get, oh, got, was able to get a, get a shield there. Oh. Yes, only one force there. So, all all of Marcelo's ships has one shield down. People in the chat, I'm I'm um I'm reading the last things they are they're writing in the chat, uh, talking about the dice. Yes, um, I agree that Arturo is rolling like not not exactly good dice, but the way Marcelo has been flying, he has in a really great position. Yeah, yeah. flanking in Arturo's ships, out maneuvering Arturo's ships. So even if Arturo had like a little better dice results, mm -hmm. I, I think the the current game stage would have been pretty much the same. I, I agree. Yeah, we, yeah. you got to be careful. You got to be careful when talking about dice because here's the thing. Like, and this that's one of the reasons why I'm not I am not a fan of people looking at the dice stats. Um, I, I've I've said it now publicly a couple times. I kind of wish they just take take the whole dice statistics out of TTS. Um, because they don't give you any type of uh, situational awareness, right? The dice stats don't tell you that, let's be honest, Marcelo flew, made, made the right decisions to, to, to annihilate Anakin, right? It, it, doesn't, it doesn't tell you that, yes. right? Uh, it doesn't tell you those things. It's very, very, most of the times, the narrative of what actually happened in the game can get lost if you're so focused on the dice stats. Um, have they been under? Yes. A little bit. I, it feels that way for sure. But I don't think we would end up with a different result, even if it was completely average uh, or the expected result uh, across each one. I still think that Marcelo would, would be ahead. If yeah, you, also if that... You put, uh, sorry, no, no. If, if you put uh, both players' ability on flying on this match, on a, on a waiter, on a, on a, on a, on a balance, mm -hmm. uh, it's clear that, that uh, Marcelo has not made any mistake with his maneuvers and positioning on the on the mat. But Arturo, uh, he, yes, he, he commit some uh, mistakes with Anakin and in, in the positioning of the rest of the ships uh, to to the develop of the of the game. So yes, I, I'm agree with with Theon. Marcelo is is, give, is giving us a tremendous show of uh, Imperial Aces. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I want to read a comment. I think is uh, Felipe Alves de Freitas. Uh, I think he's from Y Wing, the Y Wing squad from Brazil. Why don't we talk about Anakin's red dice stats? Anakin hasn't shot a single attack this game, and that that's a good flying from from Marcelo. Mm -hmm. I really think good flying, not irony. allowing the the enemy ace to attack. Now, that was a, a, a with... ironic comment from <laughs> our friend. So in. And, and while that might be true, I think it's also important to note that, you know, one game is simply a snapshot of somebody, you know, this is, this, you could say this is a suboptimal performance for Arturo, but hey, he also got to the final. So he had some yeah. great games. He had some absolutely amazing games, some good wins out there. And, uh, you know, this one is not going to work out. But, we uh, saw the, the last two games and, and were amazing. The, the, the way Arturo uh, Push forward uh, the first order um, ships in, in the in the last game was impeccable. It was it, it was great, and of course there is he's in the final. He's tired. He he's uh, with a lot of pressure and well, um, the mental balance of each pilot is is different in the at this moment. Yep. So we I, okay. I respect. 
respect a lot Arturo and, and he's a great player that always make the cut in, in, in every um, in every tournament, a big tournament that he appear. Oh, All right, so that's more hit, crits. More crits on the wolf, hit crit crit. Uh, wolf taking a damage sensor ray and a loose stabilizer and gonna be down to uh, to two hole there. Yep. Uh, the Inquisitor didn't bump Jello. More it's... crits coming. And hit crit crit. This is the Inquisitor going into the yellow arc 170 there at range one. One agility, not gonna happen. Uh, going down to at least one, maybe none if we get a double damage in there. Hit. Fuel leak or direct hits kill him. Uh, Wounded and, and nope. stunned. Down to one, but here comes Echo. I mean, uh, no, for, sorry, Wolf should have shoot first because of player order. <laughs> uh, they are doing Echo's attacks first. I mean, it could have matter on this round. So we have to remind him that. Uh, yeah. Wolfie have. W Wolfie having engaged. Um. Well, the, this going over there, I think. Oh, there's a little bit, little bit of an issue because oh, there are some resources that... Um... No, uh, read the chat, uh, Pedro. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, we, we have a concession. The, the match is over. All right. Well, congratulations, Marcelo Duarte de Lima, Open Champion, winning that game. Uh, do you know... Uh, just an, uh, an absolutely dominating win. Uh, I'm sure for Marcelo, it feels great. Arturo, I'm almost sure he's not feeling fantastic right now, but we cannot... Uh, you can't deny he did great. He got all the way to the finals and uh, and played really well. Just couldn't quite seal it. And we talked about it. The initiative role became really, really important. It made it so that his Anakin could not... Uh, respond to the absolute hammer that is Darth Vader. So congratulations, Marcelo.